Hello friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Today's lecture is going to be very interesting. Here is the experiment. Here I will move this boy over this uh, track and we will observe its kinetic energy, potential energy, thermal energy and the summation of all these energies that is the total energy. We will also study its speed at every instant. Okay. So let's play with this. First of all, I have uh, started it with uh, the friction value zero and then I will increase the friction and we will study all these things. So let's start our experiment. So we are going to start its motion as I will start it. You just observe what happens to the kinetic energy. Look in this uh, bar graph. Okay, here this is the kinetic energy here is the potential energy in blue and this red is the thermal energy and this is the summation of all the energies that is the total energy as i will start this experiment this boy will move downwards and you observe how it changes the kinetic potential and thermal energy and also the total energy by the conservation of energy you will see that the total energy remains constant so let's begin you see it is in slow motion it is going downward so its kinetic energy is increasing now its kinetic energy is decreasing again observe that its kinetic energy is increasing and as it is moving upward its kinetic energy is decreasing and opposite of this happens with potential energy its potential energy increases as, as it moves upwards and it is moving downwards this is decreasing you can see this in this graph there is no loss in thermal energy as uh, I have set the friction to zero so the summation of kinetic energy and potential energy at every instant is equal to this total energy so total energy is conserved by the conservation of energy okay also observe that as it is moving downwards then its kinetic energy is increasing but its potential energy decreases because we know the potential energy is given as m into g into h what is mgh m is the mass of the particle moving and g is the acceleration due to gravity okay and h is the height so as m and g are constant here but h is varying so as the height is increasing its potential energy increases you observe at every moment it is moving upwards its potential energy is increasing because of increase in height but it is moving downward its potential energy decreases okay and opposite happens with the kinetic energy as kinetic energy is given as half mv square okay so half and m are constant here and v square is the velocity square so what happens its velocity increases as it moves downwards okay so with the reduction in height as it moves downwards its height decreases and its uh, velocity increases because of this increase in velocity its kinetic energy increases but because of reduction in uh, height its uh, potential energy starts to decrease okay you can also observe this in uh, speedometer its speed you see at the extreme points that is when it reaches to this height then its speed becomes zero and gradually its it uh, its speed increases and becomes maximum at the lowest point here you observe my cursor and uh, its speed you see yes it is at at this point it was zero and also at this point at other extreme its speed will be zero you observe here yes it is and it is changing the direction every time and becomes maximum at this point okay now observe this whole experiment with the friction okay so i am increasing the friction you see when the friction value was zero then it as it i released it from height six six meters this extreme so it was going to the height of six meters towards the other end so no energy loss was there the total energy is conserved and thermal energy is not produced no friction okay so no loss of heat but when i will increase the value of friction from here on this scale then you will observe that it will not reach to that height from where it released it will uh, cover lower height and uh, it will lose energy in the form of heat thermal energy so let's see what happens i'm increasing 
the friction okay so because of this you see that kinetic energy and potential energy are changing but the thermal energy is constantly increasing see this uh, bar graph here this orange color is increasing okay it is continuously increasing and at the end you will see that this total energy will be equal to this thermal energy you observe its speed and also the height its uh, oscillations are reducing okay it is not attaining that height from where it was released it will ultimately cease to uh, move it will stop eventually at the center okay you see this thermal energy is constantly increasing and uh, kinetic energy is reducing because half mv square v is reducing and mgh is also that is the potential energy is reducing because of decrease in height constantly okay and finally this kinetic energy and potential energy becomes zero because h becomes zero for mgh and v becomes zero for half mb square that is kinetic energy so both of these will become zero and all this energy will be converted into the thermal energy and finally you see that this thermal energy has become equal to the total energy and this person has stopped by releasing the whole energy in th in the form of heat and uh, the total energy even when the friction was zero or non-zero was constant this is the total energy so this was the whole experiment you can change the tracks but i i think uh, there is no need of it we observed the kinetic potential thermal and uh, speed of this uh, moving particle of this moving boy now i have reduced this friction back to zero and uh, i will change the value of mass here and we'll see what happens on the values of uh, what happens with the kinetic energy potential energy and the total energy as we know that uh, the formula to calculate uh, potential energy is mgh and uh, the formula for kinetic energy is half mv square here uh, both of these formulas kinetic and potential are using m that is the mass so there must be some effect so as you can understand easily that uh, by increase increase in mass by increasing the mass the value of kinetic and potential energy will increase and if i will increase this mass and uh, as a result of it the summation of the energy that is the total energy will also increase and uh, opposite of this will happen uh, when I will reduce the mass that is total energy will be reduced as the kinetic and potential energy are reduced so let's uh, first uh, increase the mass you here observe observe the cursor my cursor that uh, the what are the values of kinetic and uh, potential energy and the total energy now observe it after i will increase the value of mass so here i have increased the mass so with increase in mass you see the total energy has increased and uh, the oscillations of kinetic and potential energy have also increased okay and if i will reduce i am reducing the mass you observe that uh, both of these energies kinetic and potential are reducing so their summation that is the total energy has also reduced as both of these are using m in their formula okay so this is with this uh, experiment so this was the experiment with mass okay and uh, we also know that uh, if you change the value of friction then it will ultimately its value will then ultimately its value will become zero and it will stop eventually at the center by reducing its oscillations okay this can also be observed with the help of this uh, pie chart you observe this where i am moving my cursor this is the pie chart this pie chart is showing that this orange color which is the thermal energy is constantly increasing as the total energy it will it is going to be equal to the total energy because kinetic energy and potential energy are constantly reducing as v is reducing and h is also reducing so finally you see this uh, is converting this total energy that is this area of this circle uh, circle is converting constantly uh, continuously into this orange color so ultimately this has 
changed into orange color it means that the total energy is now in the form of heat energy or you can say the total energy has been lost in the form of thermal energy okay so at this time also the total energy is conserved all the energy that it had was that was in the form of kinetic or potential is zero because at this point its height is zero so mgh means zero the potential energy h is zero and also half mv square that is the kinetic energy because of v v is zero is also zero so this was all about the concept of kinetic potential thermal and also its speed and also the its effect by changing the value of mass and friction of the surface hope you understood the concept and liked the video for more such videos and beautiful and interactive simulations please subscribe to my channel engineering made easy in the upcoming videos i will upload more such videos related to different subjects like uh, physics uh, In the upcoming videos, I will upload more such videos. Hope you enjoyed the video. So see you soon in the next video. Please don't forget to subscribe the channel Engineering Made Easy. And please like and share the video if you liked it. See you soon in the next video. Till then, bye-bye.